Hey folks, welcome back to River Rat Gear Review, where we talk all things whitewater and the gear you need to get on the river. Today, I'm gonna to be walking you through one of my favorite breakfast meals I do on the river. It's a Dutch oven style breakfast, tater tot casserole. Tater tot casserole is always a big hit in camp. People always seem to love it. It does take a little bit of time to cook, so it's good for like a layover day or a morning where you're not really trying to hustle right out of camp maybe. It is a super hearty breakfast that everybody on the trip really always seems to like, affectionately known by my rafting buddies as TTC. So let's jump in, check out tater tot casserole on the river. Morning. Here we are on the river in the kitchen and I'm gonna be making my world famous tater tot casserole this morning. So what you're gonna need is gonna be some diced onions, some shredded cheese, I prefer the sharp white cheddar, some pre-sliced peppers. Pro tip, put these in a seal meal so they don't leak all over your cooler when they melt a little bit. Uh, tater tots of course and then we have our three pounds of Jimmy Dean natural sausage and I take 20 eggs and all that gets mixed into the Dutch oven. But first, to get this going, we need to get our coals going. We're gonna cook this in a 14 inch Dutch oven. I'm gonna use at least 35 briquettes. So we're gonna start these in my charcoal chimney on the blaster to get them supercharged and let those heat up while we go and cook the sausage. Okay, so now we're gonna cook the sausage. Get the stove going here. I do like a nice metal spatula for this. These anodized Dutch ovens do pretty well with it. I've never scratched one. So get the sausage going, then we're gonna throw in our peppers and onions and get that mixed in, at which time then we'll crack all of our eggs in there, let the eggs cook a little bit, and then we'll throw in a layer of cheese. And basically then you float the tater tots on top of that. Spray a little bit of Pam on the tater tots to get them nice and crispy. Then you put the coals on, and the coals aren't really actually cooking this per se, but it gets the tater tots nice and crispy and gives it a golden brown, amazing Dutch oven finish. So now we've got our sausage cooked, we're gonna add our diced onions and our diced up peppers. Stir those in and let them cook down. All right, so now that we got our three pounds of ground sausage cooked down with the peppers and onions, we're gonna add our 20 eggs. And I'm gonna mix these up and let the eggs cook in a little bit before we put them on the coals. Then we're gonna put our cheese on top of everything. And that basically gives it a nice little layer that the tater tots can float on top of. Okay, so now we're gonna add our Tillamook shredded sharp white, and make a layer on top. Right, so you can be generous with the cheese, but you wanna make sure you save some for the end, because we're gonna top this off at the very end as well, and cover the tater tots, and then the final layer. So once we've done that, we're gonna add our tater tots. This is where the magic happens. Spread them out kind of evenly. Give them a little spray and this just gets them nice and golden brown. So now we're ready to go on to the coals. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple coals on the bottom and the majority are going up top. And it's nice to use a little metal pizza tray to help you out there. So and we're just cooking from the top down, basically getting those tater tots nice and golden brown. Leave this for about 30 minutes and we'll come back and check it out. All right, so let's take a peek. Oh yeah, tater tots are golden brown. Pull this lid, ditch these coals. Go to the stove for final cheese. Then we just wanna sprinkle our layer of cheese on here. And we'll throw that lid back on just to melt it down a bit. Helps to have a nice pair of pliers. It's gonna hop. 
let that melt down and that's tater tot casserole you're ready to serve with some tabasco or however the people like it So that's my tater tot casserole. Great, easy breakfast to do on the river. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and as always, we will see you on the next one.